itself. But let's talk about individual stocks. Power utility company NHPC reported its fourth quarter earnings falling on almost all fronts, missing street expectations. And that explains why we've seen a bit of a red tinge on the stock in today's trading session so far. RP Goel, who's the CMD and director of finance of the company, joins us to give us a glimpse of uh, you know what lies ahead for the company. Thanks a lot, uh, Mr. Goel, for joining in. You know, one of the concerns that the street has is that uh, these delays that you spoke about for your Subhanshri project as well as your Parbati project, if you could give us a sense of the updated timeline and could that have a bearing on your regulated equity? Could you give us a sense of where that number stands at FY25 and FY26? Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, actually, our uh, the, these two projects were biggest project as of now. And due to certain reasons, uh, there, there are delays in commissioning of these projects. But uh, now uh, uh, we are uh, hoping to commission Power 32 in December 24, all four units at a time. And uh, we will add 800 megawatt in December 24. And uh, uh, so far, uh, uh, Subhansar is concerned, we will commission three units in uh, March 25 and balance five units will be commissioned by May 26. So our regulatory equity uh, will be uh, uh, to, to the extent of around 28,000 crore by end of uh, 2028 uh, uh, after commissioning our all ongoing uh, hydro projects and solar projects except the bank. So our uh, regulatory equity will be around double uh, by FY28 and our uh, uh, bottom line will be in the range of 7,500 crore. Okay. All right. Hi, sir. Good morning. Good to see you in. And just to clear the air, the current regulated equity is around 13,000 crores, right? All right. So, All right. So, commissioning of Part 2, there will be additional uh, equity of around 3,000 crores. Uh, and on commissioning, of, full commissioning of Subhansari, the uh, regulated equity will add to around uh, 7,000 crores. Okay. Got it. Could you run us through your CAPEX plans for the year? Or, uh, you know, what is it at and how does it make your balance sheet look? Uh, our uh, current test capex plan is around 11,000 crore, 500, uh, 11,500 crore uh, uh, on consolidated basis. And our uh, current test balance sheet uh, 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 revenue and profit will be in the uh, same range because uh, commissioning of Part 2 and other solar projects is happening in the uh, fag end of the financial year. So, full year benefits will be available in next year. Uh, similarly, uh, we will commission three units in, of Subhansari in March. So, financial benefit will be available in next year. Has there been any cost overrun uh, because of the delays in the project? Yes, cost overruns are there. Uh, our uh, Subhansari is costing around 21,000 crore plus, uh, and uh, Subhansari is costing around 11,000 crore plus. So, but uh, all the cost orders are passed through uh, because CRC allows a uh, whole of the cost in uh, tariff if it is uh, not, uh, delays are not due to the uh, developer. All right. Um, in terms of generation and uh, PAF, what would your targets for FI25 be? Because, you know, FI24 was an El Nino year, there was the Tista issue, etc. as well. So, PAF for FI24 was close to 77.6%. And during the year, you generated about 21,773 million units. What's your target for the first quarter and this year for both PAF and uh, the units that you're likely to generate? Our current year's generation and PF will be in the similar range of last year because this stuff is uh, down and it will be recommissioned in March uh, 2025. 20, but uh, uh, loss of generation in case of this stuff five is fully compensated by the uh, our insurer. So generation will be lower uh, uh, in comparison to design energy, but uh, we are fully insured in respect of generation. All right, so give us some details with regard to the status of the PSPs with various uh, state governments, you know, MP, Odisha, Gujarat. Quite a few announcements have been made. When does implementation start? Uh, we are working on nine uh, pump storage projects in the state of Maharashtra, uh, Andhra Pradesh, and uh, Mahar uh, Madhya Pradesh, uh, Gujarat, and uh, Odisha. And uh, we have submitted uh, PFR, PFR of five projects already. And we are expecting to start construction of our Indra Sagar Omkareshwar uh, pump storage project in the uh, period of one and a half years. Because we are in the process of submitting DPR and uh, on clearance of DPR, we will go for tendering and 
we are expecting to start the construction within one and a half year. On, All right, on, fine. And other, other, other projects also, we are in the process of preparing DPR. Uh, we are entering into joint venture agreement with the state of Andhra Pradesh. So here, uh, DPR is already in the final stage. And immediately after clearance of DPR, we can start the construction there also. All right. And uh, finally, just before we let you go, sir, let's uh, revisit all the long-term targets that you had for FY24. Your capacity target was 7,000 megawatts. You are looking to double it by, uh, you were earlier looking to double it by FY27. I seem, it seems that it will now double by FY28 because the delays, etc. And FY32, you had given us a capacity target of 22,000 megawatts. You want to revisit that as well? We are uh, uh, standing for that capacity and we are working on uh, nine more hydro projects which are in the pipeline and which are at the different stage of clearances. In addition to nine hydro projects, we are working on four or five uh, solar projects also. And uh, as I explained, uh, on nine uh, pump solar projects also. So our pipeline is very lengthy and our growth plan is very uh, robust. And uh, solar, how much will that be over the next five years as a proportion of your overall capacity? Uh, we are basically a hydro company, but we yes. are doing a little bit in a solar sphere also. Uh, and we are keeping our uh, total capex in the ratio of 80 20. 80 percent we will be incurring in hydro sphere and uh, 15 to 20 percent in the solar and wind sphere. So we, we are keeping 80 20 bits. Well, always a pleasure talking to you, sir. Thanks a lot for stopping by and giving us all those details. We wish you all the best for the coming fiscal year and we look forward to chat up with you as the year progresses.